Hi, this is Sarah Block, Director of Marketing and Education with Effie Moran Special Hazard Systems. Specials has been seeing more and more requests for fire protection for battery storage facilities, so we decided to pull together frequently asked questions, blog posts, and the company slide deck. That's this. You can find the link to the FAQ article in the description. Let's go to our questions. Are batteries the hazard? How do we fight battery storage room fires? What code do battery storage rooms fall under? What are other safety hazards to watch out for in battery storage rooms? Let's go to question one. Are batteries the hazard? If you've been paying attention to the news lately, then you have heard about cell phone batteries having minor explosions in people's pockets and hoverboards exploding in kids' bedrooms. Both use lithium-ion batteries, which is the same kind of battery that you will find in a battery storage room. They aren't the primary hazard, but they are a hazard. The main issue is the lack of ventilation. Batteries are overcharged and generating hydrogen. When hydrogen is in the room, it's not well ventilated, it will accumulate. If it accumulates up to 4%, it can cause an explosion. We know that battery storage rooms lack ventilation and that that can cause an explosion in fires. So how do we protect it? In a battery storage room, electrocution is a real possibility when water comes into play. It's important to have that as the last resort. Effie Moran's Special Hazard Systems recently installed a battery storage room fire protection system and installed a clean agent inert gas system. It's called FM200 Fire Suppression. We then installed a water-based system as a backup, just in case. However, water-based systems have two issues when installed in battery storage rooms. They can cause contaminated water runoff and electrocution. A wet pipe system should never be installed as a first line of defense in a storage room. Battery storage rooms are unique, although not in a fun way. They need to adhere to two different codes, the National Electric Code NEC 480 and the National Fire Protection Association's Code 70E. These codes protect personnel from electrical hazards. The main concern in battery storage rooms are about the safety of the personnel. Battery storage rooms are dark and hard to navigate. They have limited paths of egress, tight working space, exposed wiring, and little ventilation. Personnel should always have a plan when working in battery storage rooms. Battery storage facilities are in need of protection from fires and explosions. Effie and Moran's special hazard systems can help. Whether the facility needs a consultant to determine pre-construction specifications for the fire protection needs, design, install, or service and maintenance, Effie and Moran's special hazard systems has the experience to meet your facility's needs. This type of structure truly has truly unique fire protection needs. So, even if you don't contact us, contact someone who specializes in fire protection for the special hazard industry. All right, that's all for now. Um, have a good one, and until next time.